Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to look at how to tell if something is a function by looking at what a function is and its notation and then looking at some examples including function maps, tables, graphs, and then you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So what is a function anyway? Function works like a machine with inputs and outputs. When we input a number into a function, a new number pops right back out. We can say that a function is like a machine because it transforms one number into a completely different number once it enters the so-called machine. So if that doesn't make any sense, that's okay. Let's look at an example and see why this is like a machine. So if we have the function f of x equals 2x plus 1 and we have an input of 3. So we're going to put a 3 into our function machine. So we have input a 3 into our function 2x plus 1. So all that means is we're plugging in 3 into the value for x and then solving. So we get 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, which gives us the output of 7. So that's all this machine stuff talk is. I feel like that's how they always start teaching functions. But the thing about this is that we can input any number here. So if we wanted to input a 5, then we would put that into our function, our function machine, and we would be plugging in this time a 5 for x and then adding 1. So then our output would be 5, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 and then our output would be 11. So when the input is 3, the output is 7 and when the input is 5 we get 11. And just by plugging that into the function machine and plugging it in for the variable, which in this case is x. So functions have their own notation if you notice. Uh, when we have f of x equals 2x plus, plus 1, this can also be written as g of x, h of x, or any other letter you could think of, but they're usually very commonly written as f of x, g of x, or h of x. And another way to write what we just did in function notation is to say that we found the value for f of 3 by inputting it into f of x. So we found the value of f of 3 for f of x, and then we found the value of f of 5 for f of x. So how can we tell something is a function? What does a function even look like? So a big important rule about functions is that there's always one unique input for every output, but there can be different or repeating outputs. So what does that mean? So we're gonna take a look at a bunch of different examples. And the first type of examples are called function maps. So here's a bunch of different potential functions. Maybe they're functions, maybe they're not, but the, the way they look, these are called function maps. So if we look if we just focus on this first example here, notice that we have one input for every output, right? One is paired with four, two is paired with five, and three is paired with six. So since there's one, put, one input for every output, we know that this is a function, yes. And actually this is a special type of function called a one-to-one -one function, since there's a unique output for every input. So let's look at this next example and see if we can figure out if this is a function. So we have 1 paired with 4, 2 paired with 5, and then 3 is also paired with 5. So is this a function? So there's still, there's unique inputs, but then there's a repeating of 5, right? So, so is this a function? Always a unique input. So the only thing you only the inputs have to be unique. So yes, this is also a function. We have all our inputs are unique, only five repeats here, which is an output. We know that this is also a function. So the last example here, we have one is paired with four, then we have one is paired with five, and then we have three is paired with five. So notice there's a repeat here, this one repeats. Since the input repeats, this is not a function. So, so when you're looking at function maps, be aware of repeating inputs, those will not be functions. So another way you might see functions and need to identify them is by looking at tables. So here's three different examples of tables and let's see if each are functions. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna look at the inputs and outputs. So this time they're, they're labeled X and Y, but this is still really the inputs and outputs. And we want to ask ourselves, are there any, any repeating inputs? And the answer is no. So we know that this is a function. And if you notice over here, the outputs, they don't repeat either. So this is actually a one-to-one -one function. So yes, this is a function. So same thing over here. Let's look for any repeating inputs. 
on the left side here, no. So we know we are in the clear and this is also a function. Notice we have the repeating ones on the right, but that's okay, right? We, we are, it's okay to have repeating outputs. And the last example here, we're looking for any repeating inputs and notice we have these two ones, which we cannot have. So we know that this is not a function. So example number three, we have all these graphs and we need to know if they are functions or not. So in order to know if a function is a function when looking at a graph, we perform something called a vertical line test. So all we must do is draw a vertical line and if the line hits the graph one time, then the graph is a function. But if the line hits the graph any more than that, then it is not a function. So the reason this works is because if there is more than one input, the vertical line would hit the graph more than one time. So if there's a repeating x value, then this will quickly show using the vertical line test. So the vertical line test is just kind of like a way of quickly seeing if any x values repeat or any inputs. It's, it's the same thing. So, so let's now try the vertical line test and look at our graphs. So let's look at this example first. We'll draw a vertical line and notice it only hits the graph at one point. So we know that this is a function, yes. So we're gonna do this with each graph. So let's try it again, our vertical line test. We only hit that graph one time. So this too is a function. And lastly, let's look at our, our last graph here. Notice this time when we draw a vertical line, it hits the graph in two places. So that means this last example here is not a function. So if you're looking for more questions just like these, check out the practice questions on the next slide. The answers are up on my website, massocks.org, if you want to check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out massocks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!